we're laughing now because um, he's, uh, he, says, he says to me, I can't believe that you wrote that, that I am a technological idiot. And I said, I didn't write that. And he said, yes, everybody thinks I'm an idiot now. And uh, the reason is that his daughter uh, and his son both told me stories about how technology is not his strength. I mean, you know, he has so many strengths, right? He's such a great climber, he's so intelligent, da 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 da. But they found one thing that was his weakness, and that was technology. So they told me these funny stories, and so I, I thought, well, that's good. I mean, he's not a god, he's a person, he's a human being. And uh, so he didn't tell me anything about his technology expertise, but his kids did. Wojtek is, um, is a, you know, he's a perfectionist and he's, he's a lot of things, but he's also a very logical person. And so where there were difficulties or disagreements, we could talk our way through them. He's a logical person. I came to Poland, I don't know, several times. Uh, and we would spend usually about 10 days, uh, long, intensive days, just talking, 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 talking. I mean, I didn't just interview him, of course. I interviewed a lot of people. Checking, double checking, you know, um, checking with other people if they were on the same expedition. And, uh, and then near the end of the process, uh, I went back one more time. The book was more or less written, but I went back one more time to just to discuss three topics. So I, I came to Poland for 10 days to discuss three topics. One was religion, two was Kukushka, and the third was creativity. And that's, that was, those were the, the things that were the most, I guess you could say, sensitive in the book and um, potentially uh, mm, problematic. So we had to really f figure out how to deal with that. And then that's, that's still not the end of it. And then emails back and forth and back. So did you mean this? Did you really mean that? Uh, it was interesting. I was so surprised actually when, uh, when Wojtek agreed to the book because uh, I think he understood, he had to understand that it was going to make a change in his life. And it has, because here he is at this festival. Um, he's coming to Banff for the launch of the book. I mean, of course, it, it makes a change in his life because he's more public now. And uh, it, you know, it, it worries me because I, I don't think he's going to be comfortable with all of this. But he agreed to it, so. I think the reason, one of the reasons maybe why he agreed to it is that at some level he understood that his, his story, I mean his story is an important story, right? In, in, in the world of alpinism, it's quite an important history. And he did not want to write it. He did. He, he had no interest in taking all that time and energy to write his, his story. I mean, he wasn't even really that interested in it. Um, so somebody had to do it.